so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video we are going to talk about how we can render a scene using the blender so without any further delay now let's get start the tutorial <music> So right now on my screen you can see guys we have a little bit seen here where we have a place some product bottles and with their packaging basically that look awesome okay this is very like random things which is I have places here but for rendering a scene we need some major things like we need a camera we need a lights and we are gonna add it those things first then we'll switch into our rendering mode and we'll see how it's look like by the way so first one i'm just gonna add one camera here so for adding the camera i'm just gonna like place my 3d cursor into here basically so we can easily see uh, where our camera is exactly placed then i'm gonna press the shift a and i'm just gonna uh, like uh, going to my add menu and here i'm just gonna add one camera here you can see this is a camera and going into the camera view we have to just press the zero so we, here you can see this is our camera view basically so first of all what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna unlock my camera from here and now we can easily like uh, move sorry i'm just gonna unlock my camera from here and then we can just easily move our camera according to our desire so i think that looks nice but we need little bit dynamic angles so for that what i'm gonna do basically first of all i'm just gonna place it something like that i think that look awesome and gonna little bit like zoom i think this look nice yeah this is awesome okay after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna like lock again my camera then i'm just gonna split my screen something like that and i'll just uh, like exit from my camera view and i'm just gonna select my camera here you can see this is our camera basically and i'm just gonna let a little bit move upside and then i'm just gonna like rotate it into the like uh, i'm gonna just rotate it something like that i think that much rotation is look nice and i'm just gonna place it something like that and now here you can see this is look more what we can say dynamic basically and that's look awesome here you can see here we go that's look nice right now this camera angle i'm gonna like uh, keep it and after that what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna add lighting also so for adding the lighting first of all we have to switch into our rendering mode so for switching into our rendering mode we have to just place this like last viewport shading icon this is our rendering mode and here you can see it is look something like that i think that's look awesome and i didn't use any kind of like specify material we have just used a okay so we have used the procedural material and we have just used the black uh, what we can say a uh, color with some noise textures okay this is not necessary to explain in this video will you need any kind of shading tutorial you can just comment down below i will definitely make the video regarding that topic also now we are going to add one lighting into here so for adding the lighting what i'm going to do basically here i'm just gonna like add one light i think area light is look nice to me here you can see this is look nice i'm just gonna like scale my area light little bit something like that and little bit something like that also yeah i think that look nice and then i'm just gonna move my area light something like that and i'll just go to my top view and move it little bit further here to here i think that look nice now we have to just increase the intensity of our light so i'm just gonna increasing like more than 500 so i'm just gonna press the like 700 is fine for me right now so here you can see this look awesome i'm just gonna like little bit move it here to here and little bit like other yeah look nice here you can see how cool it is by the way and we can just move our camera a little bit also because we need a more product we don't need any negative space into our scene yeah looking nice going to move let's look awesome by the way okay let's look awesome looking perfect all right after that i'm just gonna add one more light here so for that i'm just gonna add a like one more area light okay looking awesome perfect so all right guys here you can see we have set the lighting and we have to set the camera angle also this is look nice by the way and this is the final output now the thing is that how we can render all those things so if you want to take a video render so you have to just go to your render setting first of all and here you have to just mention how many frame you want to render so here you can see this is the start frame one this is the uh, end frame and for that you have to add a little bit animation into your scene then you can uh, do the like uh, 
video renders and uh, from here there are some settings from here you can just use uh, you need a frame by frame animation you need a video basically if you need a video renders so you, you have to just select this fm uh, ff mpeg video if you need a frame by frame so you have to just keep it rgba and a stand for basically alpha all right and if you need a single render from this uh, camera angle basically you have to just go to your uh, like uh, render and here you can see we have a like, render image and you can also press the f12 so here you can see i'm just gonna press the render image so here we go guys here you can see that's look awesome all right guys so this is our final render which is look nice by the way so that's how you can render a, a scene using the blender you have to just lean a light and camera that is ne necessary thing and essential things for creating and render any scene basically so thanks for watching this video guys if you learn something from this video please like button share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries for insertion please let me in the comment box i'll definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys and love you all